This is Twit. A new cybercrime gang has been found to be taking over vulnerable WordPress sites to install hidden e-commerce stores with the purpose of hijacking the original site's search engine rank and reputation and promoting online scams. <coughs> the attacks were discovered earlier this month when a WordPress honeypot that had been set up was targeted. The honeypot was managed by Larry Cash Dollar, a security researcher for the Akamai security team. And, and we've looked at some of Larry's work before. The attackers initially leveraged brute force attacks to gain access to the site's admin account, after which they overwrote the WordPress site's main index file, appending their own malicious code to the end of that index. Although the malicious code was heavily obfuscated, Larry indicated that the malware's primary function was to act as a proxy to redirect all incoming traffic to a remote command and control server under the attacker's control. This server hosted the actual attack logic. The way the attack worked, a user would visit a hacked WordPress site. The hacked code on the WordPress site would then redirect the user's request to the malicious command and control server. If a user met certain criteria, and it was unclear what that criteria would be, but I have a hunch, the command and control server would instruct the original WordPress site to reply to the user with an HTML file containing an online store which was peddling a wide variety of mundane objects. Presumably, this criteria would be designed to avoid detection by the site's actual admin and owner. You know, if you went to your own site and saw some weird e-commerce store instead of what you expected, that's not what you would, you know, you'd obviously immediately know you'd been taken over, compromised, and you'd go about fixing that. So, so the point is that some subset of visitors, instead of getting the site they expected, would get an e-commerce site with what were described as mundane objects for sale. And, you know, presumably, if you actually ordered something that must be the nature of this scam, it's not like you're going to get your order fulfilled, right? They would take your money and say, thank you very much. And you, you would never get your you know, uh, you know, KN95 masks or whatever was on sale. Uh, uh, Larry, the Akamai researcher, indicated that, get this, during the time the hackers had access to his honeypot, which he set up, they hosted more than 7,000 e-commerce stores. So what must be going on is that based upon where you're coming from, like where you're located geographically based upon your IP address, um, they on the fly select the store for you to be displayed at this hacked WordPress presence. Um, 7,000 e-commerce stores that they intended to serve to incoming visitors, um, which suggests that as weird as this seems, it's no small operation. It would, it would, you know, take some effort to set up 7,000 different e-commerce presences. Um, and clearly it's intended to be a long lived scam across a large base of, of word perfect sites. Now, if all of this seems odd, like, okay, this just seems bizarre. Here's what's going on. In addition the hackers generated XML sitemaps for the hacked WordPress sites that contained entries for the fake online stores mixed in with the site's authentic pages. And the attackers, after generating the, the sitemaps, submitted them to Google's search engine 
then deleted the site map to avoid its detection. So although this whole procedure seems harmless, it's clear that what they were going for in hacking WordPress sites with good search engine rankings was they were trying to leverage the ranking of the site in order to get this collection of bogus e-commerce sites visited. And of course, the problem is that by doing this to the site, they dramatically reduced the site's search engine ranking over time because, you know, basically it became a scammy, spammy site that Google was not going to uh, rank highly in the long term. So, you know, th this is just seems weird and bizarre, but it's what's going on because WordPress has pretty much gotten out of control from a security standpoint.